Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just getting the newest file from MV. Played a couple games earlier. It was fun to watch. And I've got some free time here for the next hour or so. So I thought I'd get in here and do a game or maybe two. And I can tell that MV sped the league up a little bit and got us all the way through June. So it looks like we are now at July 1st. And here are the standings. So I don't know if anybody's around. I'll give it a few minutes. And I'll explain some of the things I did do is... I went through and just looked at some of the rosters, for example, and if they were below 24 players, um, like mine, I have two injuries. I have Felton, Snow, and Harper, so I activated a couple people. I went through jerseys at 24, so I'm not going to mess with them. Um, is it a pitcher? Yeah, they've got Clayton Kershaw injured um, for a while. So, I mean, I guess what we could do is say... Um, Let's put them at 25, and we can make uh, another pitcher, Lever, act active. Manchester, I I noticed they were down to 22 players because of an injury to Josh Gibson and to Tommy Tucker. So I activated John Donaldson and somebody else. Can't remember. So if you tune into this MV or see it, I may, after I play my games, just send this file back to you because at least... It's got active, reactivated players covering for rosters, having some injured people, and being under 25. Uh, it get, gives the computer manager some options there. Um, here's Hawaii. They're at 25. And I believe they were one down, and Tip O'Neill's hurt till August, so I activated somebody for them. Cleveland had some uh, to worry about. They're good at 25. North Sound is at 25. George Sisler is out. And I believe Tino Martinez is who I activated for them uh, to make up for Sisler being out for probably the next 27 days. Um, Mudville is at 24. Um, they were over. So what I did is I made Pep Young inactive. And it looks like George Foster will be tomorrow's games. He'll be free again, so they'll be back up to 25. Arlington, what can we say? They're at 24 right now, but um, they've got some injuries and some people will be coming back here in the next week or two. And uh, Badlands is at 25, so they're good. So one thing with forwarding the league or playing uh, some of the games or weeks is we had some injuries to take care of. So hopefully we've got things in play now where, hey, big clue, good to see you. I'm going to take a look at some of the games to play. So that's set up. The other thing I always need to do, and in case somebody wants to know, is under our rules, I know uh, MV has it set up to use the subfolders. Where is that? Is it info? Yeah. Locate subfolder. So because it's BBMV Daddy three, here's what I typically do. If your if your player photos aren't aren't showing, I just come right over here to where they happen to be under sports data, baseball, player photos, and you'll see that I've got BBMV Daddy and now Daddy three. I just open where I had them. Um, select all. Getting used to Windows 11 here. I'll copy them. Oops. And then I'll just repaste them in the updated folder. And now I'm good to go. And really, I can delete the other folders because I won't be using them because I've got an updated one. So this old one, I can just delete and make that go away. Where's the delete button? There it is. Oh, wait a second. I just deleted the wrong one. Now let me go back and... see where it's at. Hmm. 
Let's restore that. I deleted two. I only need to delete one. So, hey, hey, MV, MV. So here we go. I've got BB, MV, Daddy 3. This is the one he sent. And MV, if you're just joining us, I went through, and because you fast-forwarded a little bit and made sure before I start playing that teams, I reactivated a few people. Now let's take a look at MV's teams here. So let's look at the raw photos showing up. Here they come. Here's the photos. MV, you were you got Josh Gibson hurt for about a week and a half and Tucker for over a month. So I reactivated Elmer Smith and oof, somebody else. Who was it? Prince Fielder, maybe? Cecil Fielder. Um, oh, you know who I should do? Never mind. Maybe it should be this one. You can let me know. Uh, Jocko Milligan, we need him active for you for your 25 because it was Gibson, a uh, catcher who's hurt. So that gives you two catcher options there. So that's what I was going to do. So I just went through and just made some adjustments based on some of these injuries so that players um, would be available for the computer manager because we have that box check that would allow the computer manager to completely override and take over everything. So let's see what we have July 1st. We've got a race here. It looks like uh, my Detroit team's still here. Jersey's just a half game behind, and here's Manchester. Um, interesting. There's only three of us above five hundred. No, sorry, four above five hundred. Half the league's at five hundred. Um, let's take a look at what we've got coming up. Schedule league game. What do we have to look forward to today? Oh, my gosh. We go to the second. Hmm. What's an interesting game? Maybe I'll ask MV and Big Cluer here what game they'd like to see me because I'm going to do one of these games. Do I do one of your games? Hey, I got... Um, how about we see Jersey in action and let's see if we can breathe some life into Arlington. So see what happens here. The Arlington Sharks. Wow. There's something. Computer lineup. View opponent here. The blue claws rotation, we should probably have Clarkson ready? Or Seaver? Or Clarkson or Seaver are both ready. Let's see what they put in. Oh, Big Clue wants to see Manchester versus Cleveland. Oh, okay. Well, let's do it. Let's do this then. Let's option this. Let's uh, let's zoom to see if this game would even be. Let's go to the seventh inning and see what happens here. Tom Seaver on the mound. Use the zoom feature. Oh, Jersey with the six to three lead. So here's what I say. Let's play this out from here and see if uh, Arlington can mount a comeback. So let me take the preferences. We'll put Jersey on computer control here. Well, I guess we could leave them both human and just hit the computer button. Get your popcorn and peanuts right here. We got group and then we'll move on to a more substantial game. There's the pitch to Greenberg. Delahanty out and left makes the catch. So it's like Tom Seaver's pitched a pretty decent game. He's given up eight hits. And only three runs. Here's Dave Orr. Wells makes an easy play of that over to Cash. And the pitch to Eric Davis, and he strikes him out. So Seaver's got 10 Ks on the day. And we're going to go to the bottom of the eighth here. We'll get to see the last at-bats uh, of Arlington. Suzuki. Batting just a little over 300. Wagner makes a play. You know, look at all these great play. Look at this infield for this Arlington team. 
Wagner and Hornsby. I wonder if they're demanding to be traded. Oh, Warnicky. Oh, yeah, let's get a relief pitcher in here. Go with uh, Law here. Butley sends this one deep. Oh, see ya. Well, it looks like this one might hold up. So here we go, Seaver. Big clue. Are we going to let Seaver roll, even though he's uh, red? You let me know. Um, we can let him. Uh, he's got some runs here. Or, you know, throw the uh, pink hand of despair up there, and we can get you a, uh, a reliever. And then we'll get on to that Manchester-Cleveland game. You got it, Big Clue. Let's pop that. Uh, let's look at your options here. Um, take a look at all your staff here, including starters. Clarkson set to come up. Just so you know, Big Clue, because you had an injury to um, Kershaw, I believe it was. I... Uh, Activated Sam Lever because he's Kershaw was going to be out for a while to have an extra pitcher there for you. That's why you might see him here. Clues like I've got to lock this game down. You can't. You don't want to lose to Arlington with a, you know, giving up four runs here. So, got to take this serious. Can Kevin Brown slide in? Yeah, why not? It looks like he's been relieving. He only he had two days ago he pitched 21. Let's do it. He says he can throw 40-ish pitches. And here's Kevin Brown. What's he done on the year? Well, he's got a 4-5-4 ERA. He's getting crushed, but man, what the hell? Who is it in this league? So here's Perez. Now let me let me coach this like I care. Perez, not much with the bat, 22%. What else has he got on the best bench here? Well, we've got Dan Bruthers. So let's see if we can mount a comeback here, a community comeback, we'll call this, with um, this Arlington team. And here's Bruthers, Brothers, Browthers, Bruthers, who knows what it is. And that will be one away. So here's Jake Dunn. The third baseman. And Kevin Brown looks really good in the relief role. 18% for Baylor. Can we get anything better than 18%? You bet. We've got William Fisher. How about let's give uh, Palmero, who just got called up, an at bat? This will be Palmero's first at bat of the season. And he keeps it alive with a single. Bringing up Benny Kauf. Looks like this will end the inning. Utley takes the force at second. It's Boobers. I like it. So Jersey holds on. A little anticlimactic, but hey, we got to see it firsthand. And let's go and see what other game might be interesting. Right here. Mudville and Des Moines. Uh, you know, Manchester, Cleveland, that's two teams that are at least at or above 500. We got Juan Marichal on the mound. This is the one to play. And we've got MV here, I think. So let's take a look. Manchester's throwing in Marichal. George McQuillan comes in. Here's that uh, that Cleveland lineup. 
Heavy Johnson in there, Munson, Buck Leonard, and let's take a look at the opponent. And this uh, MV, throw a hand up. I'm going to give it about 20 seconds here to throw a hand up if you see anything wrong. Otherwise, I think this is what you've been rolling with, except <clears throat> we've got Bob Hazel. Maybe I haven't paid attention to this. We've got Jocko Milligan, who um, up in the second spot, because you got to remember, Josh Gibson's out for another <laughs> 10 days, 11 days. So Milligan, Jocko Milligan, an above average hitter here. I don't even know if I know who Jocko Milligan is. Let's take a look. Catcher. Nine rating catcher. Um, can play first as well, but not a bad batter. This is a pretty good pickup. Every once in a while, MV can surprise all of us, including himself, with some really what do we call them? Sleepers, uh, Golden Nuggets. I forget what the name was. Jewels, Hidden Jewels, something like that. So let's see how this game goes. Milligan will be batting second. We've got Hazel. I think she had her own show back in uh, the 70s. Uh, let's see here. Bob Hazel, who only played in 41 games, but. Oh, let's take a look on replay stats there. Let's go by at-bats here. Tommy Tucker's hurt. So we've got Hazel that's stepping into right field here. Joe Morgan not in the lineup. Did he go? Let me know if you see anything you'd like to do. Let me take a look at right fielders here. we got John Donaldson. Um, Chick Stahl could be the right fielder in place of Hazel. Um, you let me know whether we get a thumbs up from you. And we'll have some fun with this one. Because it looks like we will be at... Where, where will we be? Cleveland. Oh yeah, not Ebbets Field, but Cleveland. Ring Chicky, yeah, I agree. So we'll move Chick Stall into right field, and um, yeah, I think we're good to go. This pretty much looks like uh, this really looks like an interesting um, lineup. So let's take a look over here. Watch out, League. Chick is back. You ain't lying. So, Cleveland Wild things. Boyer is back. Let's do this. I can put them back this way on ones. Okay, then we hit computer lineup. It'll change it. So, now we've got some of his players back. So, this is the lineup that had been working where he has Maze down there. Uh, batting seventh, Jackie Robinson heavy. So here we go. It looks like they're back to where they were. And here we go. Let's see what MV can do on the road. Um, what's going on here with this field? Hold on a second. Yep, it's because because it thinks it's night and I don't have a different day and night one set. But here we go. We are at Progressive Field 2015 to be exact with the park of field effects up here to see. Left-handed average is getting a, a boost. So what's interesting now, and I'm just noticing this, is I've never paid attention to this before. Lofton's up. So when we look up here at the very top banner, it's giving us what a left-handed batter can expect in this park, which is 
um, of a benefit. Home runs for the left-handed batter is 10% reduction. And right-handed batter average would be up 10. And home runs for them would be plus 2. So it's kind of a, just a nice quick glance up here to see. And I'm telling you, I play this all the time. I know the dates up here in the wind, but I would never paid attention that that was there as well. So learning stuff every day. So here's the first pitch. George McQuillan steps in. 9-5 and five on the year. And here's Kenny Lofton. Didn't start off the season in the starting lineup, as I remember. But MV, he's up to something here. So here's the first pitch. Lofton on the ground. Buck Leonard makes an easy play to get the first out. And here's Jocko Milligan. Has not had an at-bat all year, but with the injury to Gibson. Gibson's out till 7-12. Jocko Milligan has been activated and is in the game today catching. Here's the pitch. And that one's fouled back. One strike. And Milligan lines this one. Robinson snares it. And we got two down here in the first. And here is Chicky Stahl back from injury. Um, I think MV really likes him. And we'll figure out why. Here's a pitch. And that might be why. He's a board. Keeps this uh, inning alive. And here's Ripper Collins. Stahl moving on the pitch. Wasn't going. Looks like they expected him to steal and they pitched out. <laughs> Throwing over, trying to keep him close. And here's Ripper. And he rips one. Going back to right field. Heavy Johnson makes the out. So, no runs. PQ River. Hey, hey, hey. There is Steve. Steve is there. I am here. I am back. Um, and, yes, I did get the file. Big clue. Um, interestingly, I don't know what you used to get that mock draft, but I can tell you that um, I could see that it was basically, I, I mean, I don't know what used behind the scenes. I was looking at having a tab, meaning like the first row would determine your year, and then I would have tabs for teams being numbered for those years, because a lot of them repeat, like from 16 to 60. It would be the same you know, 16 teams, and then you just go to the tab and then spin again and look at the number. And then, anyway, we can talk about that offline. But uh, I'm really thinking that this is the next evolution in how we've approached this league is where you get a team and a year, and that limits your pick. It's going to add more variety and a bunch more strategy, especially if you're holding off for a position. And you might get stuck with, you know, I don't know, the 1953 Orioles or something and not have the best third baseman. And uh, I think it's going to be fun. And it's so fun. We're getting so excited for that and encouraged us to maybe pick up the pace a little bit with this one. And here we go. Robin Yount stepping up and Juan Marichal. Uh, not pitching great I should say he's three and three but his uh, whip is off the charts at over 1.6 and here's the first pitch and I think we know why it's off the charts is Yount takes him deep and we now have a one nothing Cleveland and here we go Joe Maurer steps in he'd been hurt last month He's back in the lineup. This one is a get on a rope. And there's the first out. So here's Albert Bell. I had him in the last league. It was really good. He's batting over 315. A lot of home run power. And he strikes out. Buck Leonard, the first baseman. Here's the pitch. And this one sent out deep. Kenny Lofton makes the catch, and we're through one. one nothing Cleveland lead on the home run in the first inning. 
Here's Teddy Ballgame. Disappointing. 257. I thought this was one of the guys that had a great spring training, according to the manager of the team, MV. Williams steps in, and he sends this one into right field. Heavy Johnson gets to it, and Williams is aboard with a single. And here comes Mickey Mantle. DH him, batting sixth. Mantle on the ground. Yow! To Robinson, to Leonard, and that'll be two. Two down now for Mike Schmidt. Batting 257. The pitch. And here he goes. A little looper into left field, and he's aboard. So while some would say the batting is up in this league, um, and some pitchers are getting beat up, some aren't. And some hitters are really tearing it up, and others that we've just seen aren't, meaning Ted Williams sure isn't tearing it up. Mike Schmidt isn't. Alex, Alex Rodriguez is having a good season. The shortstop for the Red Bulls. Keeping Schmidt close. The pitch. And Rodriguez strikes out. Bring up Heavy Johnson. 16 home runs on the year already. He hit 19 in real life. But in this mixed world of universes and mixed world of stadiums, here he is batting over 300 with 16 halfway through the season. Here's the pitch, and, oh, liner right to Rodriguez. One away for Jackie Robinson. The pitch, and Marischal strikes him out. Willie Mays, 22 homers, but he's batting under 300. Sends this one out to center, and he's batting a little... Higher than he was the last inning. Another home run. So that's two solo shots that Marichal has given up. I don't know. We've got MV monitoring things here today. Don't know how long he'll let Marichal go. But he's here to let us know. Ken Boyer coming back from injury. He'd been out for a while. Third baseman for Cleveland. And he strikes out. So after two, it's a two to nothing lead for Cleveland. Two solo shots. Here is the uh, second baseman, Martin DeHigo, replacing Joe Morgan, of all people. Notice that uh, MV has Joe Morgan riding the bench. Maybe I should make him a trade offer. I don't know. Here's a pitch. Infield pop-up. And he makes the catch. Kenny Lofton, left-handed speedster. A little opposite field shot. And he's aboard now, definitely with a 92% chance to steal. I wonder if McQuillan might fire over. Nope, he lets him go. Here's the throw. And Lofton beats it. Throw for Maurer. He's got a great arm at an eight. Not in time. Now we've got the uh, batter for the Red Bolts, their catcher, Milligan. And he puts this one down the right field line. It gets in the corner. Heavy Johnson's going to grab it. And Lofton is in. Milligan rolls into second with a double. Got a two-to-one game. And here's Chicky. Pitch from McQuillan. And Chicky comes through, maybe, ooh, no option to go home. It must have been hit so hard. Either that or Milligan stumbled. Thought he might get home on that one. It could have been the tying run. Now it's up to Ripper Collins here with one away. Pitch. Collins lines this to Robinson and over to the stall. Doubled him up. Stahl was leaning the wrong way. Couldn't get back in time. And instead of being a tie ball game, that base running error, not being able to come home on that hit, might have cost him a key run here. So here we go. 
as on to the delay, MV's got the way to go Chicky, and I'm sure he wasn't happy with uh, the hold up at third and then the ultimate doubling off. So two to one, here's Thurman Munson for Cleveland. Crowd likes this one. It's hit hard, but it looks like it's out of play. And Munson goes down. Called strike on the inside corner. And here's Robin Yao. First time up, hit that solo homer. Open the scoring up. Lead off homer. Sends this one deep. Kenny Lofton ranges over and gets it. Two away. Here's Joe Mauer. Very disappointing. Mauer was hurt for quite a while, but 205 with just one home run. And hits a dribbler. Collins over at first gets an easy play. And we're through three, two to one ball game. Got the makings of some drama today. Here's Ted Williams. Grounded a single the last time up. And he got a second single of the game, and he's aboard. Mickey Mantle steps in. The pitch, and Mantle puts this one in the corner. Johnson back, grabs it. It's off the wall. Yount is going to put the tag on Mantle, but he's safe, and we've got runners at second and third. No out here, as Manchester, no doubt, is enjoying this. And here comes Mike Schmidt. Been a little underwhelming this year. And Schmidt hits that one hard, but it's down the line. I don't know if Bell's got room. Bell jumps in the stands and makes the catch, but the runner will tag and score, and we're tied up for Alex Rodriguez, who's dead on his numbers as far as average in the replay. And it's on the ground. Boyer, great range, up with the throw. Gets the out. Mantle advances to third. So Martin DeHigo steps in, two out. Runner on third, seeing if they can break this 2-2 tie. DeHigo lines this one. Boyer snags it, and the inning is over. So we have ourselves a ball game. Mara shall, yeah, MV, look at this. Of course, he's facing guys that, you know, he gave up a ton of home runs, and then he's facing guys. 29 homers he's given up of his 118 hits. That's quite a percentage. Here's the pitch, and he gets it. Buck Leonard, left-handed batter, steps in, sends this straight out to center. Uh-oh, yeah, there will be some inside the uh, organization uh, whistleblowing uh, issues going on. We'll read about that on ESPN. Here's Heavy Johnson, two down. He strikes out. So Marichal's look good. He's only given up two hits, both of them home runs. That's his M.O. this season. And here's Lofton. Grounder the single his last time up, and then stole a base. Boyer, going to have to hurry. And he does. It's a good question, Clue. What is the single, the most home runs allowed by a pitcher in a single season? I don't even think I've ever known that or heard it or doesn't come to memory. Milligan. In for the injured Josh Gibson. That's good. that's a big bat for this um, slightly above average Manchester team to uh, have to endure uh, having a bat like Gibson out. And here's Chicky. Pops it up. Should be an easy play for Maurer. Waiting for it to come down. Should be the third out of the inning. It is. And on to the bottom of the fifth we go. And here's Jackie Robinson. Second baseman for Cleveland. And he leads off with a single. We got a runner aboard for Willie Mays. Mays hits this one hard. Going back is Chicky Stahl. Makes the catch. Robinson has to retreat back. And here's Ken Boyer. Struck out his last time up. And Robinson takes off and gets himself into 
scoring position with one away. Boyer hits it hard. Chickstall makes the catch. Robinson tags, won't test the arm. And we're down here to Thurman Munson, who's uh, batting 237. He's the backup catcher, but he also gets a lot of action as D at DH for the uh, Cleveland team. And he gets one on the ground. Schmidt up with it. And we've been through five, and it's still a two-to-two -two game. Could have a nail-biter here today. The Ripper. Easy out. Quillen takes the bouncer back to the mound and gets him in time. And here's Ted Williams. Two hits today. Two singles. And he strikes out. And they got to drop the ball and throw it down and get him. Two away for Mantle. Boyer, he's had a few great plays there today. He's got another one as he gets that one in time. And we're headed to the bottom of the six. Marischal looking really good today. Only giving up three hits. One of them was to this guy, Yount, who took him deep the first bat of the game. And here's another one, and Yount's aboard with the same. This is a game that I know Manchester does not want to lose. They're 10 games above 500. Gibson being out. Pitch. And Yount takes off, and he's going to beat it. Throw not in time, and he's in scoring position. And Joe Maurer, again, a real anemic 203 average on the year. He might be due for something. And he is a single. Yount's going to hold up, though. Everybody fears the chickie in right field. Speaking of home runs, here's a guy with home run power. Dribbler, Collins grabs it. He's going to go to second. Not in time to get it. And then we're going to break this game, break the tie. And we got a 3-2 to two Cleveland lead now. Bell's safe at first. Leonard, Lofton makes the play, two down for Heavy Johnson, lined out and struck out today. The pitch, pops it up, foul territory, don't know if he's going to run out of rooms, Schmidt's giving chase. Climbing over the rail, knocking over nachos, and he makes the play in about the sixth row. Unbelievable. So we've been through six, going to the top of the seventh now. It's a 3-2 to two Manchester game. McQuillan, he can pitch quite a while. And there's Herbie. Oh, he takes... Uh, Nice run for second and gets there in time. I think Bell might have been loafing a little bit trying to corral that ball. And now we got leadoff hitter on second for Alex Rodriguez. And here goes Bell back into the corner. Makes the catch. And we've got one down. And DeHigo sends this one out to center. Mays makes the catch. Schmidt holds it second. So, look promising for the Red Bolts with the leadoff runner at second. Now it's up to Kenny Lofton. And Lofton lines this into right. Will Schmidt, and that will score Schmidt. He was moving on the play, and we are tied up again, folks. Lofton a steel threat at first. No doubt McQuillan... Here's the throw, and Lofton takes that one easy. So just like that, a single is a double when you've got speed like Lofton on the pad. So here's Jocko Milligan. Pops it up. Yount should grab this one. Makes the play, and here we go into the seventh inning stretch.
And Marischal, not heavy on the pitch count. Pitching a great game today. Looks like he's going to make it, be able to get there in time to cover first on the ground out. And we got one down for Willie Mays. Mays sends us in a left for a single, and he's aboard. So Ken Boyer, third baseman, he's flown out and struck out. Ooh, Mays was running on that one. Looked like a hit and run going on, and Boyer couldn't connect. So at 0-1, Mays, 95% chance to steal. And he's off and running. Not in time to throw, and that's his 10th stolen base on the year. Boyer, deep. Lofton makes the catch. Mays won't tag. And here's Thurman Munson. Munson sends this into right field. Will May score? He does. Easily he was off running. So much for that tie game, Big Blue. We now have a 4-3 Cleveland lead. A lot of one-run innings here. Marischal. Ooh, Yount sends this one out to left. Williams glides to his right and makes the play. We're out of the inning. So let me know, um, MV, how you're feeling about uh, the four runs that uh, Marichal has given up. And uh, wave that pink hand in the air if we need to move somebody in his place in the eighth inning. Here's Chicky Stahl. Sends it out to center. Mays makes the catch. One away. The Ripper. 0 for 3 on the day. And he pops this one up straight up behind the plate. Looks like Maurer should make a play for it. He's got room. He makes it. And we have two away for Ted Williams, who's had uh, two for three day. Two singles. And he foul tips this back. 2-2 two, two count. And he strikes out. So down to the last at-bats for the visiting Manchester team. But Marichal still in there. Give it a second here. Can go plenty of distance. He's pitched pretty good. He's brought his whip down from over 1.6 to uh, under 1.6, so that's good. I haven't seen the pink. Oh, the pink hand. Yes, so let me pull it up. And I'm going to take a station break here just for a moment. Okay. Morgan for DeHigo. Great. And definitely I'll give you a minute here and let me know. Give me a thumbs up or if there are any more changes regarding Marichal or anything. All right, Ted out. We're going to replace Ted and left. And who comes in and left? Is it McGee? Is what I would bet we're going to put. Uh...
I don't have Prince Prince Fielder is not active for you, MV. So do we bring in Hecker at first? He's a seven, better than Ripper Collins. All right, we will leave as is, and I'm assuming Marischal is good. Assume. We'll get one pitch in here, and if something's wrong, MD will pop in here and let me know if he wants to see a new pitcher. But Marichal's pitched pretty good today. And that's the first out. And up steps Albert Bell. Struck out twice. He's 0 for 3. And the pitch. And looks like an easy play. Joe Morgan. Defensive replacement makes the play, and here's Buck Leonard. And he lines out to Schmidt. So here we go, Manchester. Wave that hand, the pink hand of despair, if we need any. I doubt we'll see any pinch hitters for these batters coming up. With a one-run game, he got some home run power. One swing of the bat can do it. And here's Mickey Mantle. And is this the one swing of the bat? No, stays in the park, and we've got one down here in the ninth. McQuillan looking tough. I wonder what options are here for uh, pitchers. Well, we got Dick Raditz as a true reliever, so we'll see what happens. Mike Schmidt in. Schmidt on the ground. Boyer made some good plays today, and we're down to the last out. So, A-Rod's in at 23%, but we have a few players with Elmer Smith, the lefty, with a better hit chance. I'm going to just pause and wait for MV to say it is the last at-bat. Do we have permission for A-Rod to swing away? Hazel. And Bob Hazel is coming in, and here we go. Trying to keep it alive. We've got a 35% hit chance now. And here is McQuillan. Look to get out of this game with a full game win. And Hazel comes through in the clutch. We now have the go-ahead run at the plate and Joe Morgan. Again, I will wait. If we want to take a look at Morgan, an 18% chance for a hit. And we definitely have um, other options. Tell me who you'd like, MV, and I can make it happen. Elmer Smith. And here we go. McQuillan's at 25%. This might be the time to put in Dick Raditz to save the game. What do you guys think as a group? Do we bring in Raditz to close out the game, or does McQuillan get to go one more batter. Is it his to win or lose? Yeah, maybe it is. Here's the pitch. Elmer Smith hits this one hard. Right to Johnson, and McQuillan goes the distance. 
Red Bolts made it exciting, but a 4-3 win at home for Cleveland moves them a game above 500. Robin Yount, the game MVP. Manchester out hits Cleveland 11 to 7, but loses the game. It was a great game. Very interesting. Take a look at the pitching. Marshall pitched better than he normally has. Of course, those two big home runs there. And McQuillan for Cleveland goes to 10 and 5. Let's take a look at the other games this day. See what we got. Let's uh, Mudville and Des Moines. Mudville. Boy, they were looking good. What's happened? There's not as much joy in Mudville. Let's auto play that one. And, ooh, looks like Pete Alexander gets a win. And Pete Alexander comes through, gets a win for Mudville. Six to three. Beat Cy Young, who's seven and nine. Another, uh, I don't know if MV might be, if you need any pitching help, you can always try to get a hold of Des Moines and see if you could coax Cy Young back. And here's North Sound at Badlands. North Sound was uh, above 500, playing really good a month ago. Badlands is appears to be bad right now. So let's take a look. And North Sound squeaks one out, five to four over Badlands. Gidry not do, looking too well this year. He's three and eleven, and that included plus plus stuff for this game. Johnny Padres gets the win. So let's go on to July second. Um, we've got some games here. Let's see if we get anything coming up on the third or the fourth. Fourth, we got some double headers. The fifth, um, Manchester at Des Moines. That could be an interesting one. Oh, look at this clue. I'm going to have to save this game for MV to do. It's going to be me on the road at Jersey. And look, we're awful close right there. So awful close. Yep. So let's see, maybe we'll go, um, I think what I'll do here is, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the fourth. Yeah, time to get back at it for sure. I'm going to say on the third right here, let's play July 3rd, see what happens. Oh, no. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah, July 2nd. Hmm. Let's see what we look like here. I'm going to have to go run and do some stuff now, so I think I maybe just tag MV it. And um, MV, would you like me to give you the BBX for this day I just played? or do you want the file since I made some adjustments for the team? Maybe I should just give you the file because um, it has some of the roster moves where players had to be activated to cover for some of the injuries. So what we could do is maybe make it worthwhile since I played the first. Let's play the second too. Let's play July 2nd, see what happens. Ah. What happened here with that Arlington Jersey game up here? Let's take a look. Bottom of the ninth, Jersey comes through. Look at this. Bottom, a run in the eighth and ninth. Uh, Jersey almost dropped one at home to that Arlington team, but they come through. Manchester and Cleveland. Let's take a look at this one. What happened here? Cleveland takes the second one at home from Manchester. Another close game. North Sound and Badlands. North Sound lose. Look at here's one. 10 to 9. 
That would that's a fun one here. Let's take a look at some of the batting. Ben Chapman three for five over here, and we got Pete Rose three for four, and three for three Aaron Judge with four RBIs and a home run. So a lot of bats in play. Here's Mudville and Des Moines. Des Moines puts it on Mudville. I don't know what's happened to Mudville. They were looking good the first month. Um, looks like my Detroit team did good here against Hawaii. Uh, Gooden gets the win. So here's what I'm going to do. So with second, and I'm going to do the third, or yeah, I'm going to do the third here. MV, and then I'm going to leave it to you for the July 4th games because there's some double headers there too and figure out like which one of these you might want to play and I'll let you pick it up from here. Um, so let's play July 3rd. Arlington and Jersey. What's going on here? Jersey, another close one comes out with the win. I know Clue likes to see that. Mudville and Des Moines. Mudville this time turns the tables on Des Moines. Justin Bieber with the win. Um, oh, another a close one here. I sneak by with Mike Scott. I want a game, PQ. It's like, let's see. Yes, he did. Nine to three, and the win goes to Louis Tiant. Another big game from Judge. I think Judge, that in two games, what is he? Six for seven or something? Two big games from Aaron Judge. Uh, Koufax with the loss. Tiant goes to eight and eight with the win. Uh, Manchester and Cleveland. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Right, we got to see the batting line on this one. Manchester goes off with 20 runs on 20 hits. They're so frustrated over the last two losses, the first two games at Cleveland. They just used all the runs up here and pounded. Look at this. Crazy, crazy. That's no way to treat a lady. Definitely. Lofton, um, two for three, got three RBIs. Five for six, Martin DeHigo. And, who, and look at me, I was dogging him, MV, for putting uh, Morgan on the bench. Wow. 20 runs. Heck of a game. So, MV, uh, right here on the fourth, it'll be yours to pick up. Bunch of games to choose from. I'm going to utility this one out to zip file, and we're going to call it Daddy3. And here's the um, – you want me to just – I think this one is Daddy3. Do I got to give it a new name? I'll just call it Daddy3 and leave the date on there, and then you can do whatever magic you want to import it. We will put it in the Daddy3 League folder, and we'll let it do its work here. Okay, I'll, I'll rename it here Daddy4 when I post it. Because if you don't put the number, you never know who's your daddy. I notice this, it takes a, a little while here when you have all these games. There you go. Uh, so let's go to Daddy3. Daddy3. Oh, there it is. And we'll call it Daddy4. And bringing it your way.
All right, folks. So, oh, and uh, MV says he's going to be coming on straight away. That's awesome. So let me get this over on our, um, whatever I'm calling it here, our Discord. find the real where I'm going here and there we go daddy four is there for you uh, enjoy it MV thanks for showing up folks Had a little bit of free time, so I thought I'd come in there. So, yeah, I think we're good. Let's take a look overall real quick here before I log off. Who is leading in batting? What happened to Soto? He must have been in a slump. Let's take a look at, um, yeah, here we go. He was 667 in April, 319 in May, and then he's died off. He's 259 in June. So Soto looked like he was going to be the league MVP. Um, he's dropped down a little bit. We have Norm Cash leading the way. Looking good. Gehrig and RBIs. McGuire with 28 home runs already. We're not even at the All-Star break. Ford for Jersey with 11 wins. So we've got three teams up here batting over 280. The team pitching around 4.23. Jersey's got the best. So Jersey looks like a force to be reckoned with if they are first in pitching and second in hitting. And <clears throat> you can see there's a tie here at the top between Detroit and Jersey. So I think MV, there will be in the next July 4th, 5th, or whenever it's coming up, there should be a good Detroit-Jersey matchup that I won't play because I'm hosting or when I host, I won't play. Um, yeah, things are progressing well. So everybody hop over and take a look at MVs soon to be up and running broadcast and appreciate everybody stopping by today and see if I can, before the uh, holiday weekend's over, I'm going to try to get back on maybe Monday sometime if I can and, pick up and, and help keep things moving along. So have a good one.